Hey guys, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today we're checking out the brand new and really promising Juliana from Warris Audio. <laughs> If you like my videos, hit subscribe and ring the bell and uh, check out the description box under the video. If you open it up, you'll find timestamps, gear links, additional infos. So what is the Juliana exactly? It is a stereo chorus and vibrato pedal. It does a lot, it has tons of features and it is reminiscent of the Julia, which is Warriors Audio's mono chorus and vibrato pedal. It's a very successful and beautiful sounding pedal and they just went crazy on the Juliana. They made it stereo in and out. There's an expression slash tap input on the pedal. Uh, there's a momentary function. There are secondary functions and uh, a few knobs. It's mad. Wait a second. So the Juliana is stereo, right? Okay, let's run two amps today. Oh yes. On the left side of your headphones or monitors, you will hear the uh, Rev Dynamis 740, my head I'm using quite a bit on the clean channel. And on the other side, the right side, is gonna be the little sister, brother, sibling, whatever, the D20, which I borrowed from the uh, Toman studio. Uh, thanks, guys at Toman. <laughs> and uh, it's awesome because it has two notes, um, load box and cab simulator built in the back of the amp. So it's not connected to a cab right now. It goes with an XLR cable right into my audience interface. Very similar with the uh, the white one, the Rev Dynamis. That goes into the aux and the simulation of the aux goes into my interface. So uh, this is how you get the stereo sound in your headphones, monitors, whatever you're watching this video on. Let's check out the dry sound. This is my tally going into both Rev amps without the Juliana on. Let's start with some sounds right away and I will get into specs and everything later on and at the end I will give you my personal impressions, my experience with the pedal in case you're interested. <laughs> What I love about the Juliana and pretty much all Warriors Audio pedals is that they all look simple. They're simple to use if you don't want to get crazy with the knobs and don't want to nerd out on it. Um, but if you want to tweak all night and um, get some crazy unique sounds out of them, it's all in there. 
there's a lot hidden under the hood. There's a huge V8 and uh, it's just not overwhelming, right? So if you want to get a normal chorus sound out of it, you just turn the knobs pretty much like in that direction and there you go. So if you're into those beautiful, subtle, classic chorus sounds, it's that easy. Put all the knobs, like 10 o'clock and go. All right, the specs. My favorite knob is the DCV knob, which is pretty unique and it's a worse audio thing, <laughs> which means dry, D, chorus, C, and vibrato, which is the V, so D, C, V. As you go up uh, to towards like 12 o'clock, uh, you will have chorus like wet, as wet as it gets. And if you go past 12 o'clock, you will arrive into like a mixture of like chorus and vibrato. And if you turn all the way to the V, you have like pretty much only vibrato. <laughs> The shape toggle switch is great, it gives you three um, pitch modulation options. Imagine the Juliana on that random LFO setting in the loop of an analog delay. That is actually an analog tape delay simulation. How awesome is that? The pedal has a tap switch, which is great, especially for the vibrato setting or like a mixture of like chorus mixed with vibrato. And uh, together with this tap switch, there's also the div switch. It's a mini toggle. And with that, you can decide if you're tapped um, switches are quarter notes, quarter triplets, or eight notes. The lag knob is a lot of fun too. With that, you can change the center delay time that the LFO modulates around. With the rate, you will set up the speed of the LFO.
and with the depth you can decide how strongly modulated your signal should be how strong should be that chorus or vibrato effect <laughs> Both the rate and the depth have secondary functions. If the pedal is engaged and you press and hold the bypass switch, you will access the secondary functions of these two knobs. Simply press and hold the tab switch while the pedal is engaged and you will have the secondary LFO rate and everything. And as soon as you let it go, it goes back to your main setting. My personal opinion and experience with this pedal is it just has an incredibly beautiful chorus sound. It has that classic vibe, that traditional old chorus, you know, the classics. It comes in that direction sound-wise, which is something I love because um, that's about the only chorus sound I enjoy. <laughs> Probably my explanation will sound ridiculous, but um, with many chorus pedals, I kind of have the feeling that it makes my sound sound like plastic. <laughs> like, I, like if I was playing a plastic guitar. If there's a really good chorus pedal that doesn't give you the feeling of, of playing a toy guitar, but gives you that underwater kind of wobbly pitch modulation, then I'm, I'm in. <laughs> The Juliana definitely gave me that feeling. It didn't make me feel like my sound has become narrow all of a sudden or baseless or too dull or anything. And let's not forget about the looks of the Juliana. Um, if a pedal looks good, I just want to own it more. It's just how it works for me. I'm not sure about you, but um, the artwork, the pedal design, everything about the looks of Water Soda pedals is always spot on. I don't play chorus pedals very often, so uh, this was nice for a change. I enjoyed this shooting a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Uh, let me know what you think about the pedal. If you have any questions, you'll find me in the comment section right there. Um, you guys take it easy. We'll see each other in a week. Bye-bye. <laughs>